What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm bringing you my choice for New Well Cigar of the Week. And this week I've decided to go for the Hoya de Nicaragua Red Toro. This is a beautiful looking 6x52, really smooth looking wrapper. It's almost kind of buttery to the touch as well. It's just got some amazing sort of red chilies and pepper flavors just coming off that wrapper there. It's got a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper and non-disclosed Nicaraguan fillers and binders. So a Nicaraguan all round, I really like that mineraliness that comes through in Nicaraguan tobacco. A first time on this one for me, so I'm really excited to get into it. It's one of the newer ones within the, um, the Hoyo range. It was actually put together by some of their younger team. Um, they wanted to revitalize the brand and really come in with things that were exciting and exhilarating rating new flavors and so really excited to get into this one let's stop talking i'm going to get this cut and lit let's move on to the first third i hope you'll join me so guys working my way into the first third on this one and the flavors i've got there's a real nice sort of semi-sweet chocolate that's coming through there there's that mineraliness coming through um, but also on the retro hell i'm getting those dried chilies those dried peppers and uh, there's some oaky notes there and just real buttery chocolatey just smooth it's a really really enjoyable cigar you, you do get that heat and that kick from the retro hell and from the finish a little bit more but it's not overpowering it doesn't overtake the first initial notes that you get it just sits there in the background and then just comes in nicely um, as you put the cigar down so a really interesting blend so far i'm going to sit back and enjoy take this one down to the middle third let's see what it's got in store see you soon so guys, just about bang on halfway here. The flavors have really got quite interesting. They've, they've become more defined. So that semi-sweet chocolate, that almost oakiness is very set there. You know, it, it's consistent with every puff. It's just really, really enjoyable. Those chilies and those red peppers that come through on, on the finish and on the retro hail just work wonderfully with that kind of sweet start. And then it kind of builds up and it builds up into those spicier finishes. So really, really interesting. The draw is impeccable on this cigar. It's just really nice and smooth, not too much hard work. It's just really enjoyable in that respect. Thick plumes of smoke, it's filling my mouth with every puff, filling the room with just amazing aromas. You expect that from those Nicaraguan tobaccos. And like I said, with all Nicaraguan tobaccos, you get that chewability, that kind of real substance to the smoke that I just really enjoyed them. You almost find yourself quite full at the end of a, of a, a Nicaraguan cigar because you've just been chewing on those amazing flavors all the way through. It's holding its uh, sort of shape and it's not hot to the touch or anything yet. Get it, getting a bit close to the band on this one. So the band's gonna come off. I'm gonna take this down to the final third and let's see what that's got in store. See you shortly. So guys, down to my final moments with this one. I had to pull out the perfect draw tool because I was just enjoying this far too much. That final third, I was getting notes of prunes coming through, still buttery, sweet, oaky notes, that chocolate is there, and those, um, those peppers and those chilies and that final finish just really built up and they were just crisp and enjoyable. Definitely something that you're gonna to wanna to try if you've not tried one of these before. Kudos to Juan Martinez over at um, JDN. Came in with something really, really incredible. Head over to the website right now to pick yourself up some. It's cigars.com, that's C-G-A-R-S.com. And if you've liked this video, as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Until next time, I hope you're all keeping safe out there. Peace.